for me, what the biggest hurdle that I had going from sport into the next chapter of my life was trying to find something that I love to do, something that would give me a cause, have the passion there to want to get out of bed every day and, and do something that I truly, truly love. And it took me it took me a while to find that. And, and because of that, it was a case of, you know, I'd try something, it wasn't really the thing that really worked for me. And because of that, I just left that and went to something else. And it took probably five, seven years to really just have that thing that got me out of bed every day to, to get me fired up and wanting to do something. Fantastic. And if you could um, list your top three transferable skills that you, or attributes and skills that you have developed while you're a sports person that have really helped you in developing yourself as an entrepreneur and businessman these days. Well, so for me, the three common denominators that I've taken the attributes from my sport and have worked into my entrepreneurial life that I have now would certainly be the goal setting part of my sporting career and setting plans and strategies around that is something that I've taken across from sport into my business world and, and business life and it's 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 the roadblocks to really keep what I'm doing and moving forward in the right direction. That's the first thing. The second one for me has been time management. So coming from an Ironman sport where You've got four events in one one sport. You've got the running, the swimming, the, and the board paddling and the, the surf ski. To be good at all of them and to fit them all into a into a weekly schedule of training took a lot of management of your time to do that. So you're effectively having to train a lot and fit everything else in. So because of that, I've just become very good at managing lots of different parts of my business in the time that I've got, and I get a lot done because of it. So that's been a massive, massive help for me. And I think the last one, the third thing for me, has been really, you know, I was at my best when I did Ironman when the team around me, the team outside of just me being in the water and being down the beach was effective and I believed, trust them, and, and they looked after that side of it. And I've, I've always been a big fan of you don't know everything, you're good at certain things, plug the holes with people that are very good in those other areas. And I've got a, a really, really good team around me whether it's from my wife at home, from that support, through to you know, people look after finances for me, marketing, promotion, PR, all those sort of things that I might not be the greatest at, I've plugged those holes and because of it I've been very, very effective in what I've done.